So Atomite Mark II then is a small nine and a half foot hydroplane, little single seater that's outboard powered. Quite a simple construction uh, and a nice little project. I've drawn up this boat in much the same way as all the other kits that I've done so far, but I've just taken on board a few of the comments that people have made about various aspects of the design and uh, made some changes. So I'll show you what's slightly different about the construction method on this one. So this boat uses all the same method for alignment. You've still got the strong back as with the other plans and all the frame support legs. You've got the stem support there and then the keel form, which is the same as in my other designs. This is a much simpler boat because it's only nine and a half feet long. You've only got three complete frames in this design and then one just additional floor frame, uh, which is where the cockpit will be. Uh, the outboard is positioned on a motorboard which sits on the back of the transom. So you can see there that just allows you to have a bit more control over adjusting the height of the outboard and the angle of it to suit whatever motor you might want to use. So one of the biggest changes that I've brought in on this design is with the construction of the frames. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos you'll have seen that I use the frame construction board to align the frames and then the gussets are screwed onto the frames either side. What I've actually done with this design is decided to go with the dowel system on the framework. So uh, what you have here are holes that are positioned through each frame part and through the gussets as well. And they allow you to do alignment of the frames without necessarily needing a construction board. So you can see on frame one there, you've got a gusset on the forward side and on the aft side. And then these dowels run through and align all the parts. The benefit of that is that you haven't got any metal fasteners in the frames at all. And um, obviously you've got a perfect alignment system there, which you can just do on a bench top without the need for the construction board. Uh, and of course the benefit of not having screws in the frames is that you're less likely to hit them at a later stage if you're fair in the frame or if you're screwing your battens into position, things like that. Um, because you've got an all wood construction there, it's, um, it's much nicer to work with going down the line. Um, I've also relocated the part markings on each part so that they're hidden underneath the gussets. Uh, that was a suggestion that somebody made uh, commenting on one of the previous videos. So thanks for that, it's a good little tip. So uh, these are now positioned underneath where the gussets are. And you can see the gussets are also marked on the inner faces. So when they're against the frame, you don't see the part mark in there. Everything's covered up after you've got through the assembly stage. So you can see the joint system is still the same. Uh, the frames are all designed and jointed as I have done previously, but uh, the dowel system through the frame is just uh, a new alteration. And I'll probably roll this out across all my other designs as well and uh, bring them up to date and modernize them just to match this system. So I think it's a much better process. It'll save you a lot of money on uh, screws, especially if you go for silicon bronze. And um, as I say, it's quite nicer going forward as well because you're less likely to hit a screw um, further down the line adding extra things in there such as the battens. Going over to look at the DXF parts then, um, I've made a slight improvement to that as well. Each of the different cut paths are on separate layers now. So you've got the bounding box here, which is on one layer. Then you've got your text, through holes and profiles all on separate layers. And they're all colored differently as well, as you can see there. And that will just help with selection when it comes to creating the toolpaths because everything that is on a toolpath is grouped together on the same layer so it will make it much easier for um, for selecting the correct parts and then cutting your pieces. So there's just three sheets with this design, a part sheet of MDF which is all of your construction forms, um, just over half a sheet of 18mm ply which is all of your frames and stem and the motorboard parts and then we have a just over a quarter sheet of 9mm ply as well, which is all of the gussets and the transom. Alongside that then are the assembly details, which are just in a PDF form, same as I produced with my other plans. And they just give you various pages that reference all the parts of the assembly and explain how 
everything's marked. Show you basically where all the parts go and how they fit together. And should hopefully give enough illustration to explain everything so that you can build the boat. Details here for cutting the hull skin parts for the after plane section of the boat. And then construction of the motorboard. <laughs>